Hello everyone, this is Whack, yeah, Whack fucking Comics, and today is story time, something a little different, we've never done this before. So recently, I won the grand prize giveaway on Comic Con Art. It was for uh, four signed Martin Morazzo books that were Ice Cream Man, and as some of you may know, I am a huge Ice Cream Man fan. So these were the four books, not these four but these were the four that I was going to get signed. It's actually my favorite Ice Cream Man issue with some of my favorite Ice Cream Man uh, covers. So I was beyond excited to get these. But not these. Not these. These are ones that I already owned. Cause, because it's my favorite issue. I also have uh, Ice Cream Man number one, 9.6. And Martin Morazzo, like I just said, is one of my favorite artists. I have a signed book from him. The number one cover B 9.8. So obviously, when I get this message on Instagram, I'm just flipping. Like, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited to get these. I'm a huge Ice Cream Man fan. I like, I'll give you guys a shout out for sure. I, I appreciate it so much. And he's super nice and he messaged me back. No problem. I think it's like two or three days later, probably three days, I get an envelope. This one. In the mail. And I'm like, what is this? My wife brings it in. I'm just super confused about what it could be. It's like, I don't, this is like a document or something. It's just, it's cardboard. So it, it's, it's bendable. It's not like awful, but it bends. And I go to open it up, and I look inside, and my four Ice Cream Man books are in there. No bag and board, just on top of each other, spine on spine. My heart just sinks as soon as I open them up. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Who ships books like this? So I'm just like, okay, well, at least it's like cardboard. It's, it's not sturdy, but I'm just praying that they're not damaged. Well... None of the fronts are awful. They, I think all four of them have color rub on the front. I could live with that. Uh, some of the corners look like they've been chewed on a little bit, so that made me feel really good. And then the backs are... Here, let's see if I can get them. They're all really wavy, but every single one of them have about six-plus spine ticks that are majorly color breaking this one was by far the best one the kicker is the uh this one looks this one has like major color rub i'll, I'll take pictures i'll have the pictures up for sure but the whole back is just like rubbed to shit this one this one is a cardstock cover to mess this up, you have to really try. Like, it, it's just a hard cover. So, I was so, so upset. I messaged uh, the Comic-Con art people on Instagram and said, Hey, you ship these without a bag and board and without a Gemini mailer or anything. Like, is there a way I could get replacements and send these back? Because... These are basically destroyed. And I sent him pictures. He's like, oh, wow. Like, that does look really bad. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to contact my boss and get back to you in a few days. Well, a few days go by, and he messages me back. Like, hey, I messaged my boss, and there's absolutely nothing we can do for you. <laughs> so, uh, shout out for that. Thank you so much. Uh, Comic-Con Art deals with, if you don't know, Comic-Con Art deals with original art. And this is how they shipped their grand prize giveaway. I was thinking to myself, do I even want to like complain or should I even be as mad as I am? Because this was a giveaway. Like, honestly, it's it shouldn't be that big a deal. But I, I was so excited about it. Like, I'm just I was so upset to find that this is how they came. And they came damaged and then they can't do anything for me. I was like, if, if this was an eBay sale. And I shipped books like this on eBay. Like, you can bet your ass I would have to fucking refund it. And and obviously, there's no refund. This is a giveaway. Maybe I'm going over the top. I shouldn't be so fucking upset. 
Well, I, I also have this. This is what I just referenced. They deal with original art. This is a uh, original page by Martin Razzo, issue 14, page 13. Yeah, so I, I'm a huge Ice Cream Man fan, so these were going to be like, I, I was probably going to grade them. I was going to keep on keep them forever. Obviously, they're not worth grading at all. Even if they like came and they had some problems with them, like let's just say there was some indentation or there was a color break because that's just the book that he signed, I wouldn't have been that upset. It would have been like, okay, whatever. Like they didn't send me nine, eight copies. Like who gives a shit? But they sent me copies that looked like they probably were nine, eights. And they were just shat on because they weren't cared for in the mail. So if they don't care for a giveaway that they're doing, they like they had Martin Morazzo sign these fucking books and they didn't give two shits about them and like to ship them carefully, which takes about five seconds to do, especially a company that deals with comic book art. I just felt like this was disrespectful to a customer, me, who was a customer. I actually got that gifted to me. And then to Martin Morazzo, who they had sign these books and share this giveaway. I I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm so upset about it, honestly. it's It's pathetic that they ship books like this. Anyone ships books like this. So I'm going to end this video with a few things. Like maybe that's all they had. Maybe they just had that little envelope. But I'm going to try a few things with books. And we're going to see if they get damaged or if there's other ways you can ship besides the Gemini mailer. And it'll be like a little whack hack for them. And maybe next time they do a giveaway. And, and I'll definitely put their Instagram up and stuff. Um, they can ship things more properly using these whack hacks. So we're going to try four different ways of shipping, okay? And we're going to test them out then and see which one's better. First one will be their own packaging, but with bubble wrap inside. The second one will be a shoe. I'm going to actually pack this up right now. A shoe. And then in a top loader, and then just the bag in boards. And luckily, us at Wack Comics, we have a ton of experience in this and how to test comic books in the field. So hopefully this will help everyone out, including Comic-Con Art and everyone else that's ever shipped a comic book. So now we're going to look at all of those books and compare them to see which one did the best, okay? So here was the uh, original one that they sent me. Not in great shape. A uh, bunch of spine ticks, non-pressable defects. Definitely wasn't shipped to me this way. Signed by the great artist Martin Morazzo. Absolute disrespect to that artist. Now here's a book that was just bagged and boarded. So if they ship this in a bag and board without even their uh, amazingly protective cardboard around it, this is the condition that would have came back if it would have been stepped on and stuff. As you can see, there is a little blemish down there, about the same level as their book. There's a big uh, crease right there, too. As you can see right there. So that's not looking good, but there isn't many spine ticks. Aren't many spine ticks. Uh, it's not looking too bad. Honestly, I would say this is probably near the same level. Maybe equal. Because it's not signed, I'm going to have to put this above it. Because maybe somebody would have uh, put more respect into that one. So I'm going to put that one above it. Here was the top loader, and here was the book inside the top loader. So let's check this one out. This one is pretty messed up. 
Oh yeah, this one definitely didn't last. So if they shipped in a top loader, I'll give it to them. They did better than the top loader did. I'll put that one below it. So as of right now, we've got a bagged and boarded comic. And then their comic that they shipped. That was signed. Keep in mind. Next, we have a shoe. Oh yeah, I'll also put uh, the price of these different things too. This shoe probably costs around 20 bucks. Just one shoe. You don't need to buy both. Um, this one got wrecked. There's no doubt. If they used a shoe, it would have turned out way worse. I can't even imagine. Yeah, um, that would have been even more disrespectful than what they already did. And then now here is this package. Obviously, it's pretty messed up. But this is their package. I only put one thing of bubble wrap around it. All of these books were in good condition, too, before I packed them up for science. So let's see how this one turned out. Ooh, not great. Not great. So their own packing, obviously it was thrown around. So maybe the ice cream man ones didn't get thrown around quite as much. But basically their own packing, even with bubble wrap, did not work. Maybe they should contact a company that ships things properly and cares for their own work and customers and future customers and maybe they can help them out on how to ship things. So I'll put up the list right here on which five you should use and in what order. And hopefully that helps everyone out, including them, on how to ship things properly when you have like a customer you're working with or a giveaway winner, or it doesn't matter, just someone that signed something to respect their own work instead of being disrespectful. Before we go today, I would like to end on a high note. I, I just want to give a huge shout out to those like 50-ish eBay sellers that I've bought books for for around five bucks or so, and they've bagged and boarded them and put them in Gemini mailers and shipped them to my home safely so they arrived not damaged from shipping. So huge shout out to those eBay sellers.